Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we are going to learn what people do at home. Are you excited? This should be fun. Hi, Mom. How was your day? Hello, sweetheart. It was good, thanks. How about yours? Not bad. School was okay. Did you know I have a new friend, Sarah? That's wonderful. Tell me more about Sarah. What do you two usually do? Well, we chat a lot and share notes. Oh, and we both like pizza. It sounds like you're making good connections. It's important to have friends who share your interests. Yeah, it makes school more fun. We're also working on a group project together. It's about local history. A group project? That sounds exciting. How are you finding the teamwork aspect? It's a bit challenging. Everyone has different ideas and schedules. Teamwork can be tricky, but it's a valuable skill. It's important to learn how to communicate clearly and sometimes compromise. How do you handle disagreements? I try to listen first and then suggest a middle ground. Sarah is good at organizing things, so she helps a lot. That's a smart approach, Emma. Listening is just as important as speaking. It shows you value the other person's perspective. What if someone just doesn't want to cooperate? In those cases, it might help to ask them privately what's bothering them. Sometimes people are uncooperative because they feel unheard or overwhelmed. I'll try that. Thanks, Mom. Speaking of feeling overwhelmed, sometimes I feel like I have too much homework. It's okay to feel that way. Managing your time effectively can help. Have you tried using a planner or setting specific times for studying? I started using a planner, but sometimes I get distracted. Distractions are normal, but try to create a study environment that helps you focus. Maybe limit phone use during study time. That could work. I'll give it a shot. You're doing great, Emma. Remember, it's okay to take breaks. They're necessary for your brain to absorb information. Thanks, Mom. It's nice talking about these things with you. I'm always here for you. Now, about dinner, what do you feel like having tonight? Hmm, I'm in the mood for spaghetti. What do you think? Sounds delicious. Let's make spaghetti with that sauce you like. Great! Can I help in the kitchen? Of course, dear. You can grab the pasta from the pantry, and I'll get the sauce from the fridge. Let's start cooking. I love cooking with you. It feels like teamwork, just like my project. Exactly. Cooking and eating together can be a great way to bond and share our day's experiences. It's a lot like what Sarah and I do. We support each other with school stuff and share our favorite snacks. That's lovely to hear. Good friends can make challenging times much easier. And speaking of challenges, always remember that it's okay to ask for help, whether it's with homework or anything else. I will, Mom. And I'll keep working on being a good team member and a good friend. You're already doing wonderfully, Emma. I'm proud of you. Now let's get this pasta boiling and enjoy a nice dinner together. Hey, Dad. You've been busy lately. What's been taking up most of your time at work? Hi, Emma. It's a big project we're launching soon. A lot of coordination and planning. How about you? How are things with you? Pretty good. School and my new friend Sarah keep me busy. She's great. I'm glad to hear that. Friends are important. Dad, remember to take breaks and let me know if you need help with anything at home, okay? Will do. It's important to balance work and home. Thank you for the reminder, Emma. Speaking of home, this garage could use a little tidying up. Maybe we can work on this together this weekend? That sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since we did some cleaning here. And maybe while we're at it, you could teach me a bit about what you do at work. It always sounds so interesting. Of course. It's mostly about managing teams and projects, but I can show you some of the tools we use for planning. That would be awesome. I think understanding your work better would make our chats even more interesting. Agreed. It's good to share these things. What's been going on at school? Any new subjects you enjoy? Actually, yes, I'm really getting into history. There's something fascinating about learning what shaped our world. History is full of lessons that are still relevant today. What era are you studying now? We just started the Renaissance. It's amazing to see how art and science blossom together. That was indeed a transformative time. Speaking of blossoming, how do you feel about starting a small garden here at home? That would be amazing. I could use some gardening tips for our science club project too. Let's do that. A bit of gardening can teach you a lot about nurturing and patience, much like handling a big project. I'd like that. Learning from you is always fun, Dad. And I always learn something new from you, too. Let's keep this teamwork going. Deal! Thanks, Dad, for making time even when you're so busy. There's always time for you, Emma. Let's plan more of these talks. Mom, Dad, 
Guess what happened today at school? Yes, sweetie, tell me all about it. Anything exciting? Well, Sarah and I joined the science club. We're going to make a volcano. That sounds amazing. Exploring science is a great way to learn. Always be curious and explore new things. And remember, teamwork in any project is key, just like in our kitchen. Absolutely. Sarah and I are already planning the colors for the eruption. It's going to be epic. I can't wait to see it. Also, how about a family picnic this weekend? Perfect. Family time is the best and getting outdoors is healthy for us all. Great. Then it's settled. Let's all contribute and make it a fun day. Emma, Sarah seems like a wonderful friend. Keep building those friendships. They're as important as your studies. Will do, Dad. Thanks for the support. Speaking of support, how are you feeling about all your activities? I hope you're not overstretching yourself. I think it's okay. I'm really enjoying everything, especially the science club. Just make sure to manage your time well. It's great to be involved, but rest is important too. Absolutely. And speaking of rest, maybe you and Sarah could have a study session here next week. We can prepare some healthy snacks. That sounds perfect, I'll ask her. By the way, how's the guitar practice going? Are you still enjoying it? I am. I learned a new song this week. It's a bit challenging, but really fun. That's wonderful to hear. Music can be very soothing and rewarding. Keep at it. Learning to play an instrument develops discipline and creativity, skills that are useful in every area of life. And how about your reading? Any new books you'd recommend? Yes, The Adventures of Lucy and Max is fantastic. It's about a magical journey. Sounds enchanting. Reading is a great way to expand your imagination and improve your language skills. Definitely. And speaking of language, Sarah and I are thinking about starting a small book club. A book club is an excellent idea. It encourages discussion and gives you a chance to explore different perspectives. We fully support that. Let us know if you need help setting it up. Thanks, Mom and Dad. It's great knowing I can always talk to you both about anything. And we love hearing about what you're up to. It's important for us to stay connected as a family. So, how's the spaghetti, everyone? It's delicious. You both did an amazing job. Thanks, Dad. I'm glad you like it. Mom and I had a lot of fun cooking together. And it tastes even better when shared with the whole family. It's yummy. Can we have spaghetti every day? Well, maybe not every day, but we can definitely have it more often. You know, sitting here and enjoying this meal makes me appreciate our family moments even more. Absolutely, Emma. Family is everything. And these moments are the ones we'll always treasure. Couldn't agree more. Moments like these make life truly special. Emma, do you remember the time we went to the park and played tag? Of course, Jake. That was so much fun. I couldn't catch you. You were too fast. I'm the fastest in the family. Well, maybe we should have a rematch sometime. Speaking of moments, Emma, I've noticed you've been more involved with the family lately. It warms my heart. I just realized how important these moments are, Mom. Family is our anchor. We're so proud of the wonderful person you're becoming, Emma. Your bond with the family means everything to us. Thanks, Dad. I feel lucky to have such an amazing family. And we're lucky to have you, Emma. Let's make a pact, then. No matter how busy life gets, we'll always make time for these family moments. Agreed. Family is our constant, our support, and our joy. I love that idea. To more family moments and delicious spaghetti. Did you enjoy the conversation today? Was it relatable? Try using the conversation with your family. We hope you learned some things about what people do at home. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.